What the fuck's up, y'all? PTB coming back at you again in their freaking dope ass album motherfucking review. That's right, man. Um, we're gonna be checking out Solveig. Seven Spire Solveig. Um, I the first song I heard by this band was um, the uh, uh, Gods of Debauchery, and uh, it immediately reminded me of basically um, Demon Borgir, uh, Prog Progencies. Progencies of the Great Apocalypse. Sorry, I'm kind of stuttering here. It's been it's been a quite a long day, um, but yeah, man, I'm pretty excited to get to this. I have been a fan of this band for a couple months now. Um, there's just something completely different from what I've heard in the past, and and uh, it's really nice to uh, to hear uh, a new slice of black metal. And uh, I'm I become a I became a fan of black metal through Minotaus, basically. Um, Winter Horde was the band that got me into black metal. Um, and I've reached out to Adrian. Is it, is it Adrian Cowan, uh, the lead singer for this band? And I have asked her for an interview and everything. I don't know if she reads her DMs or anything, but it is in there. I promise you. Anyways, we're going to be doing Seven Spires, So Vague today. Um, a lot of people don't know who this band is. And that's a shame because you're really missing out. The biography of Seven Spires will come from sevenspiresband.com. Seven Spires is an American metal quartet specializing in melancholic tales and tenebrous grandeur. Part bittersweet melodic metal anthems, part apocalyptic melodic death and black metal. And part rom romantic, part romantic classical poets that are storytellers who draw from across the traditional spectrum of metal and beyond to weave tragedies of demons, death, love, and peculiarities of human condition. The band met while studying at the world-renowned Berkeley College of Music in Boston, Massachusetts. So we need not to spend much time going on about their musical capabilities, but needless to say, the band's musicianship Musicianship is in keeping with the metal tradition of tireless work to be the best at your craft. The band's sophomore album, Emerald Seas, released in February 2020, was a highly emotional, dark, and theatrical listening experience. The band, as with their debut, collaborated with, collaborated with Sasha Payeff, Aventasia, Camelot, Epica. Nice. Who mixes and mastered the album? Who is <clears throat> Seven Spires? Seven Spires is Adrian Cowan on vocals and orchestrations, Jack Costo, Costo on guitar, Peter Delena on bass, and Chris Devas on drums. A lot of these new artists are starting out on YouTube, and that's, that's my goal, is to start out on YouTube, so huge inspiration. They just hit a million on Solveig, which is freaking awesome. Uh, congrats to them. But that's basically a quick biography of Seven Spires. That's the only biography I could currently find. So I apologize if it's not that much of a biography. Anyways, yeah. We're going to get to the album review. Um, so as you guys know, if you're new here, I do my album reviews different. Um, I don't show anything on Twitch. I don't show anything on Twitch. Um, but you will get to see some stuff on post-production. Um, and this goes out to the band, man. I can't wait to take a look at your album. I'm super excited. Some bands watch my videos. Some bands don't watch my videos. Let's just hope that you watch this video and you and you see how I feel about it. But yeah, let's check it out. All right. So yeah, as as always, um, the music videos will be in. If if there has a music video, then I will be looking at the music video. If it doesn't have a music video, then uh, obviously we're not going to look at the music video, right? The first song is called... The Siren.
gonna lead into something big, huh? Okay, now it's now the production's going up again. Sorry. So that first track was very, very um, poorly produced on the mastering. Uh, the limiting was very, very not there. This is a good one though. This is Encounter. Reverse, uh, the reverse one hit snare. Nice. Very folk. I love it. Right into the next one, huh? Okay.
Holy shit, Adrian! It leads right into the cabaret of dreams. Then this might be a full album review. It's a badass video. Holy shit. Love the harmonies. It really reminds me of like a voodoo kind of, like a Louisiana sound. Sounds like trumpets in the background. Yeah, very jazzy sounding. Definitely. Definitely think so. Getting into the black metal, okay. doesn't know who the fuck this band is, dude. They're really missing out on a great band. By the way, I sub seven. Oh, man. Listen to that fucking note. She holds it. Wow. This is a cool fucking video, man. Really reminds me like a jazzy Louisiana sound here. I love it. This is the second band I've heard black metal with jazz. Really cool, dude. So, next song is called Choices. That was a badass video and a badass song. Oh, okay, that's the end. Okay, so th that's the four songs in one. Really cool. Really fucking cool, man. Uh, I wasn't expecting a jazzy sound um, with the um, with the Cabaret of Dreams. That's really cool. Um, just going to go ahead and leave my comment right now, man. This is freaking awesome. Love it. Keep making music. There you go. Anyways, yeah, super fucking cool, man. Um, wasn't expecting that, man. I love the trumpets in the background. Sound like French horns. Uh, you had trumpets, you had uh, uh, trombones. You know, you could just hear it. It was very jazzy influenced. 
uh, track. I loved it, man. That was a great, great track. Really feeling this album so far.